Jean-Philippe Smet, better known by his stage name Johnny Halliday, is a French singer and actor. He has been called the French Elvis. He was married for 15 years to popular Bulgarian French singer Sylvie Vardin and the two were considered a golden couple for 20 years. Halliday has completed 181 tours, had 18 platinum albums, and has sold more than 80 million records worldwide making him one of the world's best-selling artists of all time. Halliday remains largely unknown outside of the francophone world, thus earning the nickname the biggest rock star you've never heard of in English-speaking countries. Nevertheless, at an international level he is still considered as the only non-anglophone rock musician having a large international reputation. He was made Chevalier, Knight, of the Legion d'Honneur in 1997. Early Life Halliday's father, Leon Smet, 1908-1989, was Belgian, his mother, Huguette Clerc, 1920-2007, was French. Born in Paris, Halliday took his stage name from his aunt Desta's husband and dance partner Lee Halliday, a pseudonym for Lee Ketchum, an expatriate Oklahoman, performer and MC at the Café de Paris where Johnny began his singing career. Johnny was raised by Desta and Lee from a very young age, with Lee being his first manager. Johnny was always very loyal to Lee and secured him a permanent job as a producer and on our man with his label, Phillips Records until Lee's retirement and relocation back to Oklahoma. Career Influenced by Elvis Presley and the 1950s rock and roll revolution, Halliday became famous in the 1960s for singing rock and roll in French. His debut single, Les Lafias was released on the Vogue label in March 1960. His first album, Hello Johnny, was released in 1960. In 1961 his cover of Let's Twist Again sold over one million copies, and was awarded a gold disc. It topped almost every European chart, although the track did not appear in the UK singles chart. He appeared on the American The Ed Sullivan Show with American singing star Connie Francis in a show that was taped at the Moulin Rouge nightclub in Paris. He also staged many appearances in the Paris Olympia under the management of the late Bruno Coquatrix. For their first concert, the Jimi Hendrix Experience opened for Johnny Halliday in Evru on October 13, 1966. Black and white footage, also from October 1966, exists of Halliday partying with Hendrix, his manager Chaz Chandler and others. There also is a widely published monochrome photograph of Halliday walking somewhere in Paris in late May 1966 with Bob Dylan. At the end of the 1960s, Halliday made a string of albums with Mick Jones and Tommy Brown as musical directors, and Big Jim Sullivan, Bobby Graham and Jimmy Page as session musicians. These are Jeune Homme, Riviere. Overton Lit, a.k.a. J.E. Sui's N.E. Dans La Rue, and Vi. On J.E. Sui's N.E. Dans La Rue, Halliday also hired both Peter Frampton and the Small Faces. Amongst their contributions are the songs Amen, Bang Bang, Reclamation, News Report, and Regard Pour Moi, What You Will, which are variations of Small Faces and Humble Pie, Frampton's band, songs tracks and they all play on the album. Often forgotten is Halliday's non-LP single and EP track KJETMA from the same sessions. By 1969 alone, his sales of records exceeded 12 million. One of Halliday's later concerts, 100% Johnny, live a la Tour Eiffel in 2000, attracted an audience of 509.5 million television viewers, the show was broadcast live on French TV. In December 2005, Halliday had his third number one single in France, Monday plus Bonoel, after two ensemble and Marie, dedicated to his adopted daughter Jade. Shortly before announcing his retirement from touring, he released a blues-flavored album, Le Cur d'un Homme, on November 12, 2007. The album hit number one in both France and French-speaking Belgium. In addition to the lead single Always, Le Cur d'un Homme features T.M.A.R.S.I. Mal, a duet with bluesman Taj Mahal and I Am the Blues, an English-language song written for Halliday by U2's lead singer Bono. His next album, C.A.N.E. Finira Jama, released in 2008, 
another number one on the French album chart, and its lead single, C.A.N. Finirajama, also reached number one. In 2008 he recorded a series of acoustic songs with French musician Drexel Jonet. Halliday's most recent album, also a number one hit in France, is Tour 66, Stade de France 2009 A live set recorded at Stade de France during his farewell tour with appearances by Drexel Jonet on the guitar. French movie producers Michel and Laurent Pettin introduced Johnny Halliday to Hong Kong film director Johnny Tu. Halliday was cast as the main role of Tu's vengeance after meeting with the director in early 2008. The shooting began in November 2008 and concluded in February 2009. Personal Life Halliday was introduced to the great Chantouze Edith Piaf in the late 50s and became one of her biggest fans up until her death in 1963. He attended every concert she performed in and was said to have been friends with her throughout his career. In a recent article he claimed that Edith tried to seduce him during a dinner with her in 1960, and resulted in him fleeing from her in despair, but a 1962 photograph of Edith, her husband Theo Serapo, and Halliday shows that she earned his trust back. Halliday performed Edith's 1950 hit Him All Amor in 1995. In November 2005, Halliday started a procedure to obtain Belgian citizenship but his request was turned down in 2006 because he failed to fulfill the residence requirements. In late 2006, Halliday announced that he would move his permanent residency to Gestad, Switzerland to escape the high tax rate imposed by the French government. Swiss law allows wealthy individuals to claim residency if they live six months and one day in the country and then pay a fixed tax based on expenses, such as rent or assets in Switzerland, rather than a percentage of their income. Halliday has said that he would move his residency back to France if it changes its tax laws. He maintains a second home in Los Angeles, where he has been spending increasing amounts of time in recent years, enjoying his relative anonymity in the U.S. In January 2014, Halliday revealed that his current residence was in fact in the United States after an investigation by Swiss journalists showed that Halliday did not spend enough time in Gestad, Switzerland to qualify as a resident. One of his favorite leisure activities is riding his Harley Davidson on long trips through the California desert, staying in small motels along the way. Halliday married Bulgarian French singer Sylvie Varden on April 12, 1965. Their son David was born on August 14, 1966. Halliday and Varden divorced in 1980. He was then briefly married to Babeth Etienne, the marriage lasted just two months and two days, ending in February 1982. A four-year relationship with French actress Natalie Bay followed. Their daughter Laura Smet was born on November 15, 1983. He was married to his third wife Adeline Blondio for two years, divorcing her in 1992. He has been married to Laetitia Buddha since March 25, 1996. The couple have adopted two girls from Vietnam, Jade Odette Desiree, born August 3, 2004, formerly Bui Thi Hoa, in November 2004, and Joy. Mai Huang, born July 27, 2008, in December 2008. He also has three grandchildren through his son David, their names are Emma, Leona, and Cameron. Halliday supported Nicolas Sarkozy in the 2007 French presidential election. The Masked Avengers referenced this in their prank call to American vice presidential nominee Sarah Palin when an Avenger impersonating Sarkozy named Halliday as his special American advisor. In July 2009, Halliday was diagnosed with colon cancer, and underwent surgery. On November 26, 2009, Halliday underwent surgery in Paris to repair a herniated disc. He suffered complications and was admitted to Cedars-Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles. Doctors announced that they had put Halliday into a medically induced coma so they could repair lesions that had formed as a result of the surgery, and to relieve his pain. On December 17, Halliday and his wife started legal proceedings against Dr. Stephen Delajou, who had performed the original surgery. The conflict was resolved in February 2012 following Delajou's vindication by medical investigators.